Good morning. It's Tuesday, November 30th, 2021. I'm Russell, and this is Rocky Road Devotions, a few minutes of help for your journey today. Our devotion today is entitled, And Then It Was Monday, and our scripture is Psalm 90. Lord, through all the generations, you have been our home. Before the mountains were born, before you gave birth to the earth and the world, from beginning to end, you are God. Yesterday was an anniversary of sorts. November 29th marked 40 years since I knelt in First Baptist Church of Crystal River, Florida, and I received the blessing of ordination to the ministry of God's gospel. For those who have not experienced that or thought much of it, it's a high point for anyone who's called to serve. On that Sunday night, I felt vastly unworthy to the calling and yet somehow unable to object. The calling, quote-unquote, is an irresistible bubbling up from within the soul, and who among us can say no to God, at least with a straight face? My pastor and mentor, Rev. L.B. Thomason, preached the ordination sermon, and I recall the threefold challenge as if it were just a moment ago. He looked directly at me, or more accurately, he looked through me, and said, Russell, I challenge you, stay close to God. Russell, I challenge you, stay close to people. Russell, I challenge you, bring the two together. Well, that was Sunday night. There was a reception, a newly inscribed commemorative Bible, lots of hugging, well-wishing, and promises of prayer support, and then it was Monday. And with Monday's dawn, what was laid on my shoulders with hands that believed to bless came the fright of reality. The ceremony was over. The living of this promise was before us, and only faith in God could sustain so weak a man. And now, 40 years later, those thoughts of inadequacy, unworthiness, and disquiet over my ability to follow God's leading have proved 100% founded. Russell has never been equal to the task. Whatever has been accomplished is entirely God's doing. I've merely had a front row seat to watch his miracle unfold. Now, I've been patted on the back. (laughs) Admittedly, at times it was a size 12 shoe, rather lower placed than a back padding. I've been congratulated. What a great sermon, Pastor. And like Paul, sometimes I've been shown the door and told, get out and stay out. One unmistakable thread in this 40 years of sermons, hospital calls, funeral homes, and the highs and lows of human relationships has been the God of all Mondays, the dwelling place, the one who was there before the mountains and exists as I am. In every attempt to serve God faithfully and sometimes, truth be told, attempts to run away from him and all the responsibilities of being an under-shepherd, I am has been there. From beginning to ending, he is faithful. For you today... What do you do when you promised God something on Sunday in prayer and then Monday shows up? Do you pass it off as, well, that emotional moment? Do you start bargaining with God to get off the hook? Or do you trust God on Monday to fulfill his promises? You chew on that as you hit the rocky road. Have a blessed day.